So how was your day? It was nice. <laughs> I mean, it was nice, I think. Yeah, 64, 11 birdies. That's tied for the second most in a round in LPGA history. Oh, wow. And that's all after starting with a double bogey. Yeah, it was kind of a rough start. I was actually happy to find the ball in the first hole, but I, I've been playing well. Like the, I, the last couple of days, I've been playing well. The score hasn't really shown. Um, I've been a little bit in the way of myself, so I just had a quick text back forth with my coach yesterday and with my caddy Shane and just like, okay, how do I get out of my own way? So uh, clearly I did that today, so I'm very happy. Tell us about the round. Were they long putts? Were they makeable? Was it all clicking? Well, the course was set up quite nicely today. I could reach uh, two par fours, uh, and I hit really good tee shots on both of those, took advantage of that. And I just, um, I hit some really, really good iron shots that were quite easy, and then I made a few putts. Uh, nothing like, nothing, no bombs, no crazy. It was really steady play and just really good iron play. And Annie in your group was playing really well as well. Does that help the dynamic when there's someone else in there, or do you play your own game? Of course. I mean, you want to see people making pots. You want to see people playing well. So I think that when a group gets going, it's easier to kind of get that momentum. Um, and But you still, I mean, I focus on my own game, but it's really nice when you, because you stand there and watch somebody else play. So you want to see them making pots because it helps you. Just what did happen on the first hole? Uh, a little bit of a drop kick hook left. Mm. Um, uh, it wasn't really my prettiest of shots. But it was kind of one of those things, okay, that I've had a little bit of a miss off the tee these last couple of days. So just trying to figure that out and just get the ball in play. Because I knew I've been hitting my irons well. So just, I just told myself, give yourself chances and get the putter hot. That's, that, was the, that was the key today. I, at one point, you had six birdies in a row. When did you know your day was really clicking in? I think I started hitting the ball, well, even after, just after the first hole, like I hit a really good shot, I hit it almost dead on two and just like, and I made a putt on three, just it, it kind of momentum started, I got it back really quickly. Um, so I just knew if I just keep getting out of my own way, just get out of my own head and just give my swing the chance to perform, it, I'm going to have a good day. So how do you hope to take this and uh, put it to tomorrow? Well, I'm really just going to like build on from today. It was... It was a really big step knowing that if I, when I try too hard, it doesn't go very well. So I'm just really just gonna go out and just try to be as free as I can and just trust that, the, that, that my game has been good enough and that I have done the practice for it and just go out and hopefully for, for some more birdies. And then real quick before I would ask you to do some, some Swedish, it's, we've been a couple weeks since your, your drive on story. How has uh, the reception to that been? And especially now as we're celebrating the, the second year of drive on this week. I am just so honored of all the support. I, it's been over. It's been overwhelmingly good. It's been. I thought I was gonna get a little bit overwhelmed by it, but it's just been so heartwarming. It's just been so nice to have the support from the tour, the girls out here, and just strangers that I would that I've never met and never heard from. It. Uh, I'm just really happy that we're opening doors. We're starting conversations about this, and just so happy that the LPGA is supporting me in my journey. And I'm just excited to bring it forward. Well, we're so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you.